So today I'm here to show you how to add some gradient color to your 3D text because for 2D text it's very easy but for 3D you have to do some tricks so that's why I'm here today but first let's talk about my recent uh, Thursday Q&A that I started two weeks ago and unfortunately for today I don't have any questions so I decided to end with the Thursday Q&A. It's an early stop. Since I don't have any question, I, I don't see any interest on uh, still doing this because if I don't have questions, I don't have anything to answer. So I decided to stop it and restart the, the Quick Tip Thursday. So that's why today I'm here showing you how to add this gradient colors to the text. So let's jump in the computer and let me show you how you can do it. So here we are inside of the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see, I already have here a, a small composition, a 3D composition where I have the render 3D, the merge, the text, the camera and the spotlight. Let me put it over here in the viewer one. So as you can see, it's a simple uh, composition. And let's go to the text. So let's go to here to the text. I already have here text written and let's come here to the extrusion. Let's give it some depth. Let's increase here the depth and I'm going to also increase here the subdivisions and I'm going to add some bevel to here and here we have our text. So let's add some gradient color. So if you come here to the color, you don't have the option to add a gradient or if you will come here to the shading, you don't have also that option so you can have a color a solid or an image but you don't have the option to add a gradient color first thing you i recommend you to do is uncheck use one material because if you uncheck this you can add two colors one for the front and one for the bevel so one material for the front and the back and one for the bevel so you can come here for example and add a, a color over here. I recommend that you leave this too white for uh, adding the, the gradient color. So to add a gradient color, it's very easy. You come here to the background. Let's add the background to the white input, this one. And I go to the background. Instead of solid color, let's put it to vertical, for example. And let's add here this one and over here for example a white one and now we come to the text and solid in here and background and as you can see we have it over here and let me come here to the spotlight and let me reduce a little bit of the intensity and we have here a gradient texture a gradient color here to the our text and if we come here and go to the transform and let's rotate it a little bit, the, the, you can rotate it to see. Or you can come here to the transform and rotate the entire word and you can see that it's gradient. This is one way of doing it or you can simply come here and add an image that is also a gradient image so it's the same and here in the text 3d if you go to the shading in here we have mapping level so in at this mo moment it's select foot character or word but one thing that i discover is if you select word you can see let me put this in the viewer one so as you can see, it's come from blue to the uh, orange and it's correct. It's coming here from the blue and it's coming over here to the orange and then it starts again from blue. Because if you go here to the text 3D and you go to the text and if you use, for example, two characters only, it's doing it perfectly. So it's coming from blue to the orange, but if for example it's still with three characters it's still doing that but if i increase another one it starts again 
I don't know why this is happening. If you know the answer, please leave it down below in the comments that I will appreciate a lot and I will be thankful to you because I don't know why this is happening. I increase the size of the, um, of the image. If you do the same, but for a background, if you do the same, let's put this in the viewer one and let's come here to the background instead of vertical, I'm gonna put it to horizontal. So it's like this and let's go to the spotlight and let me increase a little bit. Let's go to the text, transform and let's rotate it a little bit, something. As you can see, it's it starts from here and at the third character it's black and it starts again and if I do it with the character it will do for each word for each character the correct thing thing I try to do a lot of different things but I don't know why it's only changing the first three letters if you know the answer to this please leave it down below I don't have anything more to say so I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today and if yes don't forget hit that like button that helps a lot subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video until then bye